Now I hunt. We get hunting. We get hunting. Give me that. And that's gonna wipe the field. <laughs> Look at that. What's going on guys? Welcome back to Jinx Did Nothing Wrong and we are here to finally have some fun. What am I talking about? We have Ari here once again and one of the fun builds that I first started thinking about Actually, this has nothing to do with Ari. Now that I think about it, this has nothing to do with Ari. You guys already see the thumbnail, and Utmost Despair, when it first came out, or how Gloom and Vex first came out, it's like I'm doing a history lesson. We were thinking like, oh, that'd be so cool if it was summon Gloom, and then you like it summons, and then the Gloom spreads every time, and it's gonna really synergize with all of these summon based characters, right? And we come to find out, they were like, no, it's actually play. And it was like, ah, well, I play it once. Everyone gets minus one, minus one. And that's pretty much it. <laughs> and it almost seems as utmost despair had just turned into something that was in Vex's, like, little thing where the champions that they play, they get the gloom. The reason why it's better on in, in Vex's adventure and, his and her constellation is literally just because the gloom keeps stacking every turn. So you don't really need to keep playing it over and over again. But... With Ari, now there's a way that we can play it over and over again. The thing that I might do, by the way, in the video, it might be clickbaity because I am going to go into the video with three, right? But my real thought is that you'd probably want to go in there with two and then Echoing Spirit. But, you know, you know, I have a sick addiction with Echoing Spirit. So we're going to go in three first. And if I lose, I'm going to just take one of them off and do Echoing Spirit. Just so you guys are aware of it. If I end up losing the run, I'll probably just give you guys uh, the double whammy shabammy and then just uh, restart that same run with doom but maybe i'm wrong you know let's put a bet i guess if, you, if the whole video is with three that means three worked out but i do have to focus on getting more recalls in the deck because all we have is charm we have sprite dance and then we have homecoming so we have a couple in the deck but we we're gonna need a lot more in order to constantly recall ari herself you can recall like the other stuff but we need to recall ari herself a bunch of times to see if we can sweep the board and another issue is that i can't like fight what i really would like to fight is like swain it's, it's gonna take too slow, I'm gonna take a lot of damage. So we are gonna just fight Yasuo because I feel like he swarms the field a little bit, but not like egregiously egregious, right? So we have to do it anyway. We're getting a Platinum Vault if we do win, so it should be fine. And if I need to go and whip out the Echoing Spirit, then I'll have to do it. Like, comment, subscribe, hopefully you guys enjoy. And let's take our despair and utmost it a bunch of times. That was really corny. <laughs> Run, start. <laughs> yes all right so power like i said we're we're trying to fully fully invest into this one gimmick so when i summon an ally i mean these are all green come on i did i pay for the performance package what the hell so when you play a slow spell it copies onto a unit twice now this deck does not have anything slow Focus speed, fast speed. Yeah, focus speed, fast speed. Uh, yeah, that's just a waste. I don't want to roast too many real. When an ally dies, grant its power to a unit in hand. That's not bad. Ah, these are all terrible. I mean, the lurk thing kind of works. This is good if I get this. No, like, slow cost, low cost recall spell. And honestly, if something recalls. Honestly, if something recalls, it's like you already recalled it, so it's like, eh. <laughs> All right, so like I said, we want to keep our recall stuff in options open. And I'll keep Mr. Root. So looking, looking pretty weird for our thing. Now, he just gets, yeah, that. You get stunned. Oh, yeah, Ari has the stun thing now. So... I'm assuming they have a bunch of one cost, so pass. Or, yeah, something like that. There we go. So, boom, minus three. <laughs> Damn, you can't block, homie. <laughs> and we lurking. Instant minus three, minus three. Gnosis, eat your heart out. I'm just saying. <laughs> no attack. So 
so we recall. Doesn't matter who we target here. Goodbye. And then, does this die on its own? When it... No, it doesn't die on its own. That's interesting, though. Um, let's see. So we probably just missed that it. Mr. I forgot we're in the challenge where the, the things uh, get. Damn it. So. We only did a couple of recalls. And see, I'm technically out of recalls already. Um, so, me recalling this a bunch of times is not going to really work out. Um, I kind of want to keep him on the field, but we will recall her. Because we would technically die. This guy's lucking out so bad, it's insane. Get the trade. Not bad. But he actually has to overcome nine gloom. I could have recalled homecoming here. And then played it. That's fine. I think we just go with that. It's going to get stunned. That's fine. Now at this point. Uh, so I kind of want to recall my own. <laughs> I recall two of my own units. Uh, I guess this is fine. He can't do anything, this unit's gonna get stunned all day. So, we play this. I feel like because he has the mana, he'll play the Spartan Student. He should. Yeah, there we go. And then we poison the whole field. <laughs> uh. Oh boy, this is definitely going way better than I thought. Cause we drew into our recalls, to be fair. So this would scoop up the whole field. This should be GG. Okay, mitigate some of the damage, but Ari still levels here. Luckily we had open attack lethal, so. This is actually kind of fun. <laughs> but it's, uh, we have to go again somewhere where I'm going to be able to recall her a bunch of times. So operations look for every single like recall spell or upgrades on homecoming, sprite dance, or charm. And we get to have fun. Now this is another recall spell, but the way that it works is based off health. So I have to like trade with her a bunch of times. Then we have Gohard here, which is draw a champion. Which having her own champion spell is good. So I actually think that this is better because my health is not going to be that low. There's actually wood. Oh my god, now I'm thinking again. Why do I have to think? Uh, this actually, this might be good for recalling one of their units after I've played Ari. Um, but I feel like drawing is really good. This is also clutters my deck a little bit with Gohards and to pack your bags. And we do have draw power. I'm going with this though. I think looking at Ari as another champion, uh, like her being a champion I could draw and having her champion spell I think is a little bit better. The other thing puts a unit on the field too, which is kind of good. All right, so isn't it fun? No, wait, is it summon? Hold on. The other thing that, that's against us. Oh, can I not see? No, here it is. When a follower summons a follower, yeah, yeah, yeah. So like, I think it's like, oh, it's two or less. Is this thing two? No, okay, it's three. So that's good. Kale, Kale, what? It, Kale's been coming out the woodworks for like the last like three adventures. Heimer Dinger <laughs> wants revenge. It's it's not Alessandra, bro. He, he came in with an axe. Just imagine Heimer Dinger with the freaking axe. Ah! My most amazing invention. <laughs> no, no, no. That's an axe. You didn't you didn't create that. Um, is 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 he good here? No, there's no uh another draw champion though. I would even I would just get it for that. But Heimer himself is kind of eh. Um, now what I do like is that, yeah, I want to say like Shadow Shift is another thing, and that's his champion spell, and then we have this, which I'll remove from the deck most likely. So Zed looking pretty delicious, we like that. 
Um, and then we have the monastery, and then we have the shop down here. Most likely, guys can go on down to the shop. Let's go. So, pretty good hand. Some recalls, recall their stuff. Draw into Zed this time around. Now, I'm gonna be a little bit upset here because I actually didn't feel like I, it would have been 40 of my wild fragments to get it that your uh, champions have the stalker's blade so I can just keep recalling them. So if, that's another thing if we lose, I'll probably get that too, to just kinda flush baby girl out. I probably should've, should've played that, honestly. I'll say this is the one where you get vulnerable, right? Yep, you got stunned. Captures this anyway. Thank you. All right, doesn't have the ability to do anything, and we can block with this, so we can actually play Zed here. Definitely don't care about the the rabbit. It has the sound effect. Okay. Oh no, I'm vulnerable. All right, so. This is just to push, progress his level up. Can only block one. And we have ways to shadow shift them out if we do something like that. You're still dying, bucko. Are you supposed to be here? I like how he doesn't even act like he's afraid of him. He's just like, uh... <laughs> there it is. Why are you shooting me? Gotcha. Like, oh, I mean, you were gonna die in the trade anyway. Whatever. Alright, so let's just draw. Damn. We're literally going to be just using Homecoming, so. I mean, if this was Ari, we could recall it and play it again, but, you know, we didn't draw it to that. I try not to beat a dead horse, you know what I mean? I mean, this just mitigates a lot of damage, so. Like, not being able to draw the main champion... We've, we've, as a community, we've come up with so many great alternatives. It's like annoying at this point that they haven't done uh the one that i liked the most was that like the they changed it to draw a champion to draw the champion with the most relics or items on it or something like that which to me is like oh that's just night and day better so like he would have been striking you yeah, know this is the good one. okay so uh, i still want to draw Just attack again. He does have a means of blocking elusives now, but uh, yeah, no. You could just attack with these two. They know how to block Zed. No. We'll play this next turn. We have another homecoming. Ari is here. Does that again. Hopefully we can play her twice. Here we go. Despair. Ugh. Okay. Into the draw. Oh, no, 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 no. I don't think you understand. <laughs> I don't think you understand. Despair. Oh. I don't think you understand. <laughs> now I, hunt. I am hunting. I am legitimately hunting. Despair. The hunt oh my god, we cleared the field. <laughs> Holy. And then... Uh, I mean, I could, you know. 
It really doesn't matter the way I do it, but... It's like I won't level Z. Oh no, I do level Z because he double attacks. So let me get that animation, baby. Thank you. Yes. Yes, we hunting. Okay, stop, 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 stop. stop. It's over, it's over, it's over, it's over, it's over. All right, so... Game start have something come into my hand. That's obviously good with Power Rift. I've, I've said that multiple times. Um... Out of all these cards, though, this could be decent because it could, it's a decent spell. And I, you know, you guys know I'm addicted to the uh, to the discard. Any discard's really good. I feel like I, I'll go with this though. One, it gives me a unit in the hand guaranteed, and then it gives me the preparation, which I can use on any of the spells that I also have in my hand. And if I get power if my power if is significantly stronger. So we're going downtown. Uh, Shadow Flip. Why do you have to show up, bro? I have any. I'll just let you guys know right now. I have not read the comments at, at this moment for uh, the last video. I'm really curious to how you guys are gonna like. Oh man, what a miss! But, but when I re when I rewatched, it, I see recall here. We'll probably just get a bunch of these. Um, but when I rewatched it, it was it really was about like whether or not they would use the ice shard. You have to like know the, how the AI works, kind of thing. So when you play a champion, summon exact final. That's really good for Zed. And Ari, but like I can, well, I, yeah, I can scoop up the Ari, and then we're gonna take a bunch of these. So I got my, I got my Echoing Spirit just a little differently, and we don't have much money, so there's no problem in rerolling for anything. So and we keep our rerolls, and then we have a champion thing and a chest, but we're not gonna. Okay, we're in a really good spot now. But you guys, let me know in this video. If you don't know, if you don't know what I'm talking about, go watch the last video. Leave a comment on that video of like how you felt like the grand finale played out. And I feel like I messed up in another fight in that thing too. But let's let's move forward to Poro Sled. All right. So Zed got me feeling more confident now. Uh, we have a lot of recall here, and we even have the dancing droplet for draw support. And our recall, the recall that is just recall, <laughs> um, also has Titanic unit things, so that's pretty good. We actually did end up getting this. Now, what's cool about the Poro Sled is that they swarm the field, like, a lot. So, this one, we literally can just play this. We get a fake one. I'm about to say, the only thing that I'm conf concerned about is... I mean, we still get one in the hand, so it doesn't matter. He can still block there, yeah. So, the REI play died. Dies, sorry. But I get a cheaper one in hand, so that's fine. And then I could recall the ephemeral one. So we have like a legitimate like chain of Aries now. Yeah, I'm sure. I know how this works. Okay, I don't know how this works. I lied, I lied, I lied. I lied, he's stealing my stuff, he's stealing it. <laughs> Alright, you, you really you really wanted to be that guy? Be gone. That's, that's all you have to do. But no, you have to be difficult. Um, that needs help me heal, really, so I don't care. Technically, this Ari is now stronger, but it's fine. Might as well set this guy up. Because he's going to get stunned. Now, he should have a ton of uh, things in his deck, though, but, you know, some people are shy about their plays. I don't mind it. There we go. Big Papa. A whisper in the wood. The forest and I are one. Oh, baby. That's fine. I'm basically always gonna just scoop up my own unit. Uh, it doesn't really matter what they do. Oh, I, could, I guess I could have pulled that. Fair enough. And then he wouldn't have been able to block, block the brash. That was poor. That was a poor uh, way of doing that. I just woke up. No, I'm just that was bad. <laughs> 
Exactly. And we, we didn't know that until you told me. What's good about the Lurk thing is that the Maker is actually getting strong, like, accidentally. So I think that that's pretty good. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna bank. I have an elusive, so it's not like he can, like, screw me up. There we go. Pretty sure that's your limit. It's probably your limit. Now I hunt. We get hunting. We get hunting. Give me that. It's like I always know he has one in the chamber, but I have to like pretend like I like don't know that that's what he's gonna do. Uh, pass. I okay. That's fine. We could do this, and then because I want to keep this, we're gonna give you the spirit from this card. Even though it, I've noticed that it doesn't actually do that, because <laughs> I keep all the spirit and everything attached to it. So you can see this is still a ten, whatever. So the sprite dance in Ari's realm of loving and caring does not work that way. All right, so might as well get it. Little heal. Don't mind me. You guys mind if I eat my food? You know what I'm saying? Real quick. <laughs> Dancing Draplet with the Betrayal. Um, yeah, there's literally nothing you can do here. We keep lurking, too. Get lurking. That's GG. Too slow. game I would be confident enough a set to say that I actually think this could beat Swain but you need like an amazing hand like your hand has to be like absolutely uh, grotesque <laughs> because like Swain like the damage that you're taking the chip damage if you get a, a mediocre hand uh, maybe with echoing spirit you could because like there would be so many Aries in the hand you could just keep doing it but I mean three seems pretty good but having a consistent two I think is also pretty good uh, but it takes three recalls to do what two recalls do, if you know, if you guys do math. Uh, we're obviously going to take the Godwill Seedling here. It's a free recall. Uh, slow speed recall, basically. Uh, we don't really have too much money, so we're just going to save it. See if we can get something on the baby girl. Well, this is really good. Draw a spell. Now, that's aw awesome. It's awesome. Because we basically get two spells per Ari, right? And most of our spells have to do with recalling, so it kind of helps us do that. Um, making her stronger to me is irrelevant. We're looking for more spells. Which, this is going to clutter our hand, but it should make our deck or and our rounds and turns more consistent. Also, putting more Aries in the deck. So, and we get healing. Don't really want to heal Jack Diddly. Uh, we definitely don't want to draw this card ever. Every other card has a decent purpose, <laughs> so we definitely just don't want to draw that card because it gets stunned when I play it. Yeah, this card's absolutely terrible for the deck. Ash, give me the dash. Beautiful hand. I think Ash starts off. She gets stunned. I could do a greedy pass here. There we go. Yeah, you get to draw one here. Merry Christmas. There we go. Again, like I said, a lot of hand clutter. Um, I could predict here. My thing is a two mana play, so I can play a one mana card just to get it out of my hand. That's kind of that's kind of okay with me. Uh. No, we're going to use the uh, Ari spell. And that's going to wipe the field. <laughs> but look at the options that I have. I don't care if I burn cards. This was something that I learned. Look at that. 
burning cards is not as bad if you have what's in your hand is actually really good you have to think of it like that like burning that one card but i already have a ton of recall support in my hand so like it, it's really worth it so what well, we got frostbitten anyway uh maybe play this Okay. Uh yeah. Can't block this. Ari has to sit here for a turn, it's fine. You can't block a ball. There it is. Oh wait, I messed that up. Uh <laughs> then uh Zed levels, but like not in the way that I thought he would. That's fine. I should have scooped it, and then they would have had a way harder decision. When did, oh, wait. Does he get burned anyway? No, okay. That happens first. The other card just doesn't come out. I love it when I say something doesn't matter, and it absolutely did. That mattered so much. Oh, boy. Good thing you have a really crappy watch. Yeah. That she's gonna be free because of how good her stats are. I go where the winds blow. <laughs> and we're constantly putting Ari's into the deck as well, so. So we could do. That card's not doing anything. Got another Zed. There's a scent in the air. Not too expensive, I think. I could do the regular recall. I don't think he's attacking. We don't have like vulnerable or anything, so. Can't afford to miss. I think we just chill out for a second. <laughs> uh, I mean, I could do this. We have 10 cards in hand, right? So I'm mostly looking to get rid of a card that doesn't then generate another card, but uh, I think, yeah, we could just play Zed here, I think, for sure. Yeah. Perfect. All right, drew into an Ari anyway. He's gonna level here. And we can play her multiple times. If I want her to be free, I need, like, obviously, one, cost one reduction. Or a, a uh... Shoop. This is actually a really good, uh, what's my call it, thing, now that I think about it. I mean, that's fine. She got frostbitten. Like, if I was actually trying to do go hard, drawing the spells would actually mean a lot. I just realized that doesn't make sense. Because I, I still have to recall this one because it's actually ephemeral. But, oh, no, 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 I will be recalling it. Now that I think about it, it, it does make sense. Kind of. <laughs> uh, and also, it will be reduced. Oh, no, did I already? Oh, I already used the uh, thing. Okay. go and I need to play a really good card yeah she's zero now because of this so this combo actually works out really good for me and you're not elusive so GG's. I love it. Actually, quicker when I don't have hand space. <laughs>
There it is. That's all I need right there. Now that she's... She'll basically always be zero cost now. Which is phenomenal. So our play's just elevated through the roof on that. And then we have... Don't really need this. Is any of these better? My allies don't die as often. So I'll just take this again just to save a reroll. And it's just good. But more of a win more situation. Do I do this? It is going here, which I can get a really good thing. I love Zidia. I really do. But there's no way that I could play Ari while the Dancing Blades are out there. So we, we might end up losing the run because I do this. But they know it. They know me. They know me. I want to keep this in the hand. And this comes in the hand anyway. But uh, I almost want to re re uh, redo the whole hand. But we have a lot of good support here. But I guess I don't really need to care about the spells too much because... Ari gets me two spells per per play. Okay, so yeah, I feel like I, yeah, I'll just play this. I I was like they're gonna throw down something and I'm just gonna piss me off and <laughs> there goes one. The minus two is crazy. So what happens if you guys are unaware is that. In a in other fights, it would actually be it would be like they get plus they would get reduced by one. But since it's this fight specifically, it goes up to two to make it more difficult. So we could get something on the charm that'd be great. But we just need some blockers just to mitigate a little bit. Okay. Doesn't have enough mana to play anything, which is great. Usually that play is when they do the stupid, uh... This is always, like I said, she's always going to be zero. Cool. Um, so this guy has nothing. We could still recall the Ari. And we could play this guy. Now he's free out of the hand. Is that drinking the branches of my bones? <laughs> we have blocker. He has no attack, so he's just like, uh, what am I supposed to do? And then we can reduce the cost of this one. We don't need to do it yet. Just get the cards out the hand. I would like to have like her as an elusive going like really fast. Now the, the cool play here would be to force him into a really ugly block. So, yeah. Really? What what do you have cooking up, brother? What, what do you have cooking? That's definitely GG, yeah. I think technically, I'll say that should be more damage. This one's going to die anyway. So you scoop up that one, still get these other attacks. Now he needs a stun. Oh my god. Yes. We had GG the other way too, but. That is probably the worst hand that uh, Zinnia has ever had. Set is so immature, Jesus. So it's like, hey, well, I'm costing it. No, stop it. Um, this is actually still bad too. And same thing with this one. So we're just gonna reroll here. Invoke, I don't want it to have more cards on it. Like I don't want it to put more cards in my hand. It's just too much. Uh, this one planting chimes, chimes is good. Same thing with this guy. Two costs that sits and gives me mana. I, I could take that. I don't mind that. So we destroy Zanea. Just she, her not having that thing is crazy. So, support, give my support ally, and then we get a little bit of the Everglade Leaf thing kind of going on. We can also make sure that she starts off in the hand. For sakes of, like, losing, I usually just go this because I hate losing to it, especially if you guys, again, um, you know, you've seen so many of my videos, that it happens, it's really annoying. But I'm going to get a little greedy here. I think we could just go with the Focusing Crystals. This one's good, 
but we're sweeping that unit anyway so this is kind of like eh so I'm gonna get greedy and not do it the far sight I, I believe that we'll get Ari most of the time because we're stacking on her so now we have more money start with a green gray lookout start with a blocker that's what I heard um, there it is when I'm summoned summon two of me that's hand clutter like crazy retreat recall just the more recalls I have the more consistent it is right uh, so I don't mind putting more of them in the deck the return part is a burst speed summon so it's not it's not gonna help it I would just use it for the retreat but I feel like we have enough we don't need to put any more into the deck what is this spell chest and then more champion stuff maybe we get the far sight thing now and I just thought about it in my head if I had actually had the stalker's blade thing on zed his uh clone would be coming out right now and, and dying instantly so i guess it's maybe a decent thing that i didn't get that right <laughs> potentially decent all right but say this time i'm gonna probably just start off with the re other time i played this but we could just start off with re Because this one, I was say, like, they're going to have these really strong uh, attacks. So what I'm going to do here is that I'm going to attack in this way, the, the opposite direction. Ah, 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 ah. Yes, it is. Call the fake Ari. Now we get this guy for free. Awesome. Uh, he's going to be really spreading out the board, so I don't need to use the recalls just yet. Don't really have the hand space for it anyway. That is very cute. Make sure we're playing the right one. So these guys are very thick. So this this is a good uh, showcase of uh, what happens when the they they get way too big, right? Um, but we luckily here we have a really good system Where I'm putting Ari's back into the deck constantly and we're losing the other spells a decent amount But like not in the not in a way that I really have to worry about uh, like we just need two blockers and If I play Zed here, I have two blockers. I Have two of these ephemeral units. We don't need to always It is power overwhelming this 14, 14 is going to get stunned. And Naomi has this one blocker. This deck uh, specifically doesn't have too many like options. Especially if I do something like this. It's a lot of damage. Can I make that more damage somehow? Oh, you don't know how much that is? Great. Um, <laughs> I hate when they do that. I wonder what happens if I... He can only play one card, right? So, like, I wonder if I were to recall Zed, actually. Would that just be, like, significantly more damage? With the uh, charm here. Cause, oh yeah, you know, the double attack is irrelevant only. It's only relevant on him. So I think we have a better play. And if I make him vulnerable, I don't have to use the pull here. She does get close to leveling, which I kind of don't like, but... Okay. I mean, that was easy.
All right, sweet. <laughs> All right, they're they're like bricking hard. <laughs> but I mean, I still had the utmost fun. So we have a really amazing like deck. Our, our deck is phenomenal for the strategy. Recall now, summon a champion. So it's gonna be like Teemo, Annie, uh, Zoe. That's gonna come out of this card. I think that's a board space issue. <laughs> uh, tag out. No real crazy downsides. Plus, I can use it on them if I need to. I like it. And then we have this. Draw another spell. No. Um, I think Overwhelm. Not bad. It's the last thing we get to choose from. And it is a blue, so I could look for something better. Manage them. Not bad. Play. Summon an exact femoral copy of me. So it would be like three Aries. <laughs> Ari on Ari action. Uh, we could just do that because I will be keep, uh, usually keeping one on the field give us more mana for the plays Healer is there another card that we can cut out of the deck. That's not really doing anything at this moment um, Or what card would I not want to draw I think I could easily say I don't care to draw the maker at this point, right? That would be too slow So we cut that out of the deck and now we're here for the grand finale Utmost despair, Ari going against Yasuo, Win Boy, Super Boy. I did not think it would work this well. As you guys thought, I was I was prepared. I was prepared to do a completely separate run, a double run in one video, uh, just to. I was like, oh, there's no way. We did it correctly though. Like sometimes builds are weird, but you have to work into them. Like they only work if you work into them. It's kind of like when you're doing Titanic, uh, Star Star Force Gauntlet. It's like, oh, I need to work into becoming Titanic because uh, I don't want to waste that slot. So I'm gonna just pick stuff that makes it better. So we just found a bunch of recalls, we got extra draws on spells, and now we're gonna whoop the Wind Boy's ass. Hope you guys enjoyed. Like, comment, subscribe. Let's go. All right, really good hand here. Especially the tag out. <laughs> it's like a play Ari for free, tag out, and then she can get a uh, common item on her. And since we do have recalls off the wazoo, we can dodge a lot of these stuns if we need to. Damn. I mean, she ain't lying. You about to feel it, brother. I recall the wrong one. Because I'm just that good at the game. Because I'm just that good at the game. Barrier cannot save you, unfortunately. I could have hoped that he played that too. I love that quote. It's like definitely one of the best ones. I'm trying to feed my family. It's like, damn, bro. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to do that to you. And we get stronger. We're going to get more mana because she's on the field. Oh, there goes my other mana cheater. Oh, that's very cute. All right, so love this about Ari. Don't care about the other card at all. Did I have an elusive to scare him? No. So we just take the damage. Nice. Thank you for that. Nagake Burus. The world's heart beats with mine. I wasn't even paying attention to the uh, her her level. So, what we can do, 
get some of these out. All right, now, I kinda like the tag out here. Give her something. We got some great stuff there. Actually, I don't know what she got, I'm gonna be honest. Play this, we just, I want him to fill his board. A. Oh yeah, you have a future. In despair. You're lucky I don't feel like going to get all my Danganronpa. <laughs> Damn. You're by yourself, Yasuo. You are by yourself. See that? It's like, it takes it. I mean, I could, I could just, you know. Could just get him out of here. I like you, Yasuo. I do. I do, okay? I'm gonna do right by you, brother. I'm gonna do right. Oh, wait. <laughs> You're welcome. Oh, boy. You just had to be an asshole, huh? All right, so we can recall this one into here, and that should be game. I was trying to be nice. I was trying to be nice. Damn. GG's. With the overwhelm damage. Ooh, triple up most the spare. Oh my god. We salivate. Oh baby. That's insane. Give me that platinum vault. Yes, sir. Who can we invest into? These, this should have uh, dupe protection on it. Um, oh, they split it. So 20, 20. It's about 40 to, I think 40 or 60. So yes, yeah, they split it. Jace and some Darius. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the fact that Ari can literally do whatever the hell she wants and <laughs> literally can do whatever the hell she wants. Uh, there's just too many build options with play, summon, you name it. This was absolutely fun, uh, and I can't wait to have a look <laughs> I, I, I gotta put her away, I really do, but it's, like, it's just too much fun using her. Anyway, hopefully you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.